There's a difference between cleaning a surface and disinfecting a surface, and that a lot of times people get those confused. Lena from Girl Teach Me, and today I want to show you my super minimal cleaning products. I save so much money, so much time, like not going and replacing all these random products. I get some products that are really, really multifunctional. And I just thought I would clean my house today using these products and show you what they are. And I, some of these I've been using for, gosh, almost five, six years. So I'm living in what people call the dirty years. You know, there's stuff everywhere. I've got four small kids. But, you know, I keep it pretty minimal, I keep it pretty non-toxic, and I keep it pretty cheap. So if that sounds like you, this is your video. And I'm doing this video in collaboration with Genevieve from Gracefully Home. She keeps it pretty minimal, non-toxic, and cheap as well on the cleaning front. So I hope you'll go check out her video after this one. Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is that I read a book a couple years ago called How to Cheat at Cleaning. I checked it out from the library randomly, and y'all had to buy it. It was so, so, so good. And one of the things he taught me is that there's a difference between cleaning a surface and disinfecting a surface, and that a lot of times people get those confused. And that, let's think about it, like if you have a surface, like a countertop, that's dirty, it's got like some honey on it, it's got some dried milk, like you need to clean that surface. Now, that's different than if you cut up raw chicken and some of it got on your countertop, then you need to disinfect that surface. And so what you really wanna think about is when you go to clean the surface, what do I really need to do? Does it need to be cleaned and disinfected? disinfected you know so i think sometimes we're using like we, we get sold by all these products at the store that we really don't need because it's super super specialized but really you need to think about what does that surface need does it need to be cleaned or disinfected or cleaned and disinfected and so the main thing i use to clean honestly is a warm rag. I keep a lot of these just old wash rags. Let's be honest, they probably get used as wash rags as well. That's just like the life I'm living right now. But I just wet a warm wash rag. Okay, so got a, got one of my old, you know what, see what I mean? Old rags, nice, warm, and wet. So just, so just a drop of this stuff, it's really, really concentrated. It's right here, just wiping it up and scraping that food okay and so if it feels like a little gunky i do this and i feel like it's pretty safe on my surface and doesn't doesn't scrape everything up and i will definitely link all this stuff down below just you know even the little things like the scraper that are just little handy things. The thing is, if you use too much soap though, it's gonna leave that soapy film and I know you're not gonna want that. So just err on the side of some warm water. I just think we overcomplicate it. And sometimes we want all these nice Miserous Myers smells and fragrances, but it's kind of pricey, you know? Just some warm water. I even use a little bit of this, dilute it, and I can make foaming hand soap, so. If you go to if you go to do this, you know the first couple pumps um, when you first mix it won't be foamy, but if you keep pumping, you get some foamy hand soap, and you have to use this up I think in about a month. And I think if it comes to Dr. Bromers, I'm probably going to choose the fragrance free. I think this was all they had. I just don't love like fragrance smells. I prefer the essential oil smells to like the fragrance for sure smells. Um, but I'm fine with fragrance free, like. Some people really have to have that fragrance. I'm like pretty fine without it. Okay, I guess I should go wash my hands, hold on. So that's really the main way I clean my surfaces. The other thing I like to do is I like to use force of nature. I'm gonna tell you about that. It's just, I've been using it for like five to six years. I save so much money on force of nature. That's really the only specialty, you know, cleaner I really use. Okay, so force of nature, you just literally fill water up to this line. I usually use my Berkey. You want to try to use water that doesn't have a lot 
of mineral buildup in it. The force of nature uses electricity to convert water, salt, and vinegar into a multi-surface cleaner. And so it can replace bleach. It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. So that's more of my disinfectant. I still like to just spray it on the countertop and just let it sit. You've got to let it sit, I think, a little bit of time. You just spray it, let it sit there, and then I will come back with this little scraper guy and just wipe my countertops and it's completely fine to use on like all of your surfaces. I even spray it on my kids' toothbrushes like when they get confused or if they've been sick or I find them on the floor, or, you know, how all that goes. So it has zero toxins. This is what they look like. They're just these little tube things. You're just gonna pull one out and you squeeze it in here and then fill up the line. This is like one of my kids' chores. They think it's so fun to do and they like to watch the light go around and change the solution into Force of Nature Cleaner. Once the colors change, it's good to go, and then I put it in my amber bottle. You don't have to put it in an amber bottle. Um, there is actually like a really pretty glass bottle you can order with Force of Nature. I just chose not to do that because I already had some amber bottles and I like the way it looks. And they even gave me a code um, that's just Girl Teach Me and a link down below, and that gets you a huge discount. Baking soda. This is the other thing that I love to get a huge bag from, of like from Walmart or something like that. Just go ahead and get the big bag. I put cups of this in the refrigerator to deodorize and soak up different smells. They sell little boxes that you can do that with, but I find you can just put it in a cup yourself. Okay, so here's the thing that I feel like these two elements are kind of missing that this makes up for, and that's that grit. You know, um, like in a bathtub cleaner, you really feel like you want some grit to get that buildup ring off of the tub. That's where having a little bit of this, like, you know, just sprinkling some in the bottom of the tub creates that paste and um, it really, really helps to clean the bathtub. Okay, I also really like Swiffer dusters. And then these little hand mitts are really cute too. I'll show you how you put them on. I actually read this little book that talked about how to help kids like incorporate kids in cleaning and they talked about getting these little hand mitts because you can just put some soap and water on them or they can use them as dusters to help clean surfaces and just little hands they just think it's fun to put on these little mitts do you like your dusting mitts when you dust yeah you do the other thing i absolutely love is my steamer mop i love my steamer mop we'll see i bought a whole pack of these guys it just slips right onto the steamer mop and i feel like it really really gets my floors clean without any kind of chemicals and then once i'm done steam mopping i just take this while it's still warm and steamy and i clean my cabinets and that helps gunk to slide off super fast just like you know a warm rag like i was talking about that really can lift a lot of gunk off of stuff and a really really fun hack i learned from how to cheat at cleaning is you talked about baby wipes so i know that may not be like the most sustainable option but in an absolute pinch all like if i'm about to have community group and people are coming over i will 100 percent get a baby wipe out and wipe down the surfaces of my bathroom now that will not disinfect but that will clean and get pee from around the bottom of the potty and things like that and or even just um a little bit of toilet paper you know just getting the surfaces kind of cleared off and then coming through with that force of nature and just letting it sit on you don't have to rinse force of nature off it dries naturally on there and so that's an awesome hack like if you have somebody coming over really really quick you can literally clean your bathroom in just a couple of minutes and make it look pretty decent and have it not be full of all kinds of germs um so, you know, having a dirty bathroom should not keep you from having people over. A baby wipe, a little bit of force of nature, boom, like you have got a clean bathroom in really no time if it hasn't really gotten away from you, if you know what I mean. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you'll go check out Genevieve's channel, Gracefully Home. Her channel is so, so good because one thing I really, really believe in is learning from older, wiser women. And Genevieve's children are a little bit older than mine. She's been at this a little longer than I have, and I feel like she has a ton of wisdom to share. So I definitely think that you're gonna learn something new from her if you go watch her cleaning video. Um, I'll leave a link down below, and you can go check it out after this. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
from generation to generation, passed down through every age. There's a story of a Savior whose love will never change. 